Welcome to Agricultural Engineering. We are the engineering branch of the College of Agriculture at the University of Kentucky. The machine you see is a fully automatic tobacco harvesting system. It was designed by a team of power and machinery researchers specializing in tobacco mechanization. Fabrication of the field prototype was accomplished entirely on campus at the new Agricultural Machinery Research Laboratory, which was donated by the Council for Burley Tobacco. The major objective of this automatic harvesting system is to allow one worker to mechanically harvest and house Burley Tobacco from an operator's cab. In conventional harvesting, a single worker will bend over in excess of 10,000 times just to harvest one acre of tobacco, and this doesn't even include the labor required to house that tobacco. Once an operator steers onto a row, the harvester becomes a fully automated system, performing all functions from automatic on-row guidance to placement of the cut stalk into specially designed portable curing frames. To gain more insight into the function of the harvester, let's trace the path of a stalk of tobacco through the machine. The harvester actually guides itself along the row using two small tines or feelers, one on either side of the stalk. However, with a machine that is 30 feet long and weighing over 24,000 pounds, the tremendous force required to guide it mechanically along the row would simply uproot the plants. Therefore, the tines have small micro switches mounted on them, which require only a minimum of pressure to activate. The micro switches control hydraulic valves which steer the machine along the row. The stalk is detached at or near ground level by a rotating circular saw. At the same instant, the plant is grasped by a set of gathering chains, which engage the stalk near its base and convey the plant upward through the header. As the plant moves through the header, it encounters two turns, which tend to rotate the stalk 90 degrees from its original vertical orientation. Thus, as the plant exits the header, the axis of the stalk is approximately horizontal. From there, the plant is grasped by the two spiked steel discs positioned just under the exit point of the header. The purpose of these inversion wheels is to allow the stalk to rotate until it is completely inverted. Plants are inverted so that they may be brought closer together without breaking leaves. This principle is essential for mechanical handling of this fragile crop. The stalk is then transferred into a set of gathering chains, similar to those in the header. This second set of chains comprises part of the notcher mechanism. First, due to a slower chain speed, the 18-inch plant spacing in the field is reduced to the 3-inch spacing used in curing. Secondly, the plant passes through a set of saw blades which cut a notch out of each side of the stalk. Once notched, the plant is ready for placement into a slotted holder. Eight holders are mounted in a supporting framework, which is eight feet wide and 14 feet long. This portable curing frame has retractable legs, which fold down and lock into place once the frame has been filled. This allows the operator to mechanically set the filled frame off the machine to allow the tobacco to wilt in the field. The holders are basically barn door tracks, which have been slightly modified to allow the notched plants to slide along their entire length without falling through the slot. Stalks are fed directly from the notcher into a holder by a conveyor, consisting of a series of tines which engage stalks individually and convey them along the holder toward the rear of the machine. When the first holder in the frame is filled, a switch at the rear of the machine is tripped. This causes the indexing mechanism to shift the curing frame laterally across the machine a distance of 12 inches, automatically lining up the next holder with the notcher to accept plants. The indexing sequence occurs quickly so that harvesting is not interrupted during the shifting from one holder to the next. 
This entire process of placing stalks in the curing frame accomplishes the second portion of our major objective, that being automated housing of burley tobacco. To this point, everything described has functioned automatically or has been automatically controlled. As you can well imagine, this would be a complicated process if the operator had to keep track of everything. In order to make operation of the harvester as easy as possible, an onboard microprocessor controls hydraulic functions and keeps everything synchronized and running smoothly. There is a display in the cab which allows the operator to monitor machine functions during harvesting. Many types of modern agricultural equipment use microprocessors to increase efficiency and improve safety. Another essential feature of the automatic harvester is mechanical removal of filled frames from the machine. After the last holder of a frame is filled, the microprocessor shuts down the ground drive and the various conveyors and saws at the same instant. The operator now knows it's time to unload. To accomplish this, the operator uses a bank of manually controlled hydraulic valves located to his right to manipulate the machine's unloading arms. The unloading arms are raised to engage the control pin located at each end of the frame. A portion of the supporting track is folded downward to allow easier unloading of the filled frame. At this point, the operator uses the unloading arms to lift the frame off the machine and set it to the side. Once the frame is set off and freestanding, the operator retracts the unloading arms, turns around in his seat, depresses a reset button, and the microprocessor automatically restarts the ground drive, conveyors, and saws to continue harvesting. This entire process can be repeated six times before the harvester must stop to be refilled with a stack of empty frames. To accomplish refilling, a front-end loader was designed to allow loading a stack of empty frames onto the machine. To reload the machine, the operator pulls out of the row and folds the magazine wings out. The loader operator approaches the machine from the side with a stack of frames. As the stack is set onto the machine, the magazine wings are closed and locked into place. The stack is lowered into place and disengaged from the loader. The machine is now ready to continue harvesting. In case you're wondering, it takes 18 frames to house an acre of tobacco. Since the machine can carry six frames at a time, it only has to be reloaded three times per acre. We've shown you automatic harvesting and housing in the field. Now let's take a look at how this overall system affects curing. The filled frames are left in the field for about seven days to allow the tobacco to wilt. Now, instead of a crew of workers handing sticks up to a wagon to be taken to a barn and hung, one operator uses the same front-end loader shown earlier to transport the filled frames out of the field to a central curing area. The removal process begins as the loader is positioned over the frame. The operator attaches the loader hangers to the control pins at each end of the frame. Once secured, the frame is moved out of the field by one worker. We mentioned earlier that filled frames are taken to a central curing area, not a barn. The tobacco has already been placed in a freestanding rigid structure. Essentially, each frame is a miniature tobacco barn in its own right. All that is needed is protection from the elements. 
To this end, a lightweight waterproof cover was developed to cover each frame. Here, two workers place a cover over a frame of field wilted tobacco. With a little practice, this becomes an easy job, especially when you consider the labor required for traditional housing. The covered frames are now left in the open air to cure. It's important to note that this method allows for curing of small or large acreages without the need for building and maintaining large, expensive curing barns. Research is currently being conducted which may show that tobacco cured in this manner may be of equal or superior quality to that cured indoors. We appreciate your stopping by, and if you have any questions about the harvester or want to know more about agricultural engineering, ask us and we'll be glad to help.